Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting printers. Today we're going to talk about common symptoms of problems, and then some tools that you can use to troubleshoot and resolve those problems. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And of course, we begin by talking about common symptoms. If your print jobs are coming out with streaks, well, on a laser printer, it's usually a problem with the imaging drum. It has scratches. On an inkjet, you either have dirty or misaligned print heads. If the print jobs are faded, you're low on toner or ink. Ghost images, when they occur, usually occur on a laser printer. The drum may need to be cleaned of residual from a prior very dark print job. If the toner is not fused to the paper, then the fuser assembly needs to be replaced on your laser printer. If you're having a problem with creased paper, that's usually because you're using a heavier bond paper. So send it through the feeder instead of placing it in the paper tray. If the paper is not feeding or not feeding correctly, the paper rollers may be dirty or worn. If you're having problems with paper jams, then you usually have too much debris in the paper path. Remove the jam, then use compressed air to blow out the debris. The symptom of no connectivity is dependent upon what kind of printer it is. If it's a local printer, then it's probably caused by poor cable connections, especially if the printer is powered up. On a network printer, it's usually caused by the printer either not being turned on or the user trying to print to the wrong printer. Every once in a while, a print job will just come out with garbled characters. This is usually caused when the wrong print driver is being used or it can point towards a cable issue. Vertical lines on a page? Well, in a laser printer, that's caused by either a clogged toner cartridge or a scratched image drum. On an inkjet printer, it's dirty or misaligned print heads. Now, if you're experiencing a backed up print queue, well, that's usually caused by either the printer being paused or the print spooler service being paused. Unpause the printer or unpause the spooler service and that problem will go away. You may get a low memory error. That means that your image that you're trying to print is too large for the printer. You can either increase the memory in the printer or reduce the resolution of the image. An access denied error is usually caused by the user not being authorized to print. If the printer just will not print, well, then you need to look to see if it's plugged in and turned on. Is it online or offline? Those are common things that you can look at to fix that problem. If color print jobs come out in the wrong colors, then it's usually because the toner or ink cartridges are in the wrong places inside the printer. If you're unable to install the printer, well then you're not using the correct user account or you're not authorized to add hardware. If you receive error codes, well, the causes may vary. You need to check with the printer documentation to determine what the probable cause for error codes are. Now let's talk about some tools that you can use to troubleshoot and repair printers. The first one we're going to talk about is the maintenance kit. Laser printer maintenance kits come with pickup and separator rollers, transfer rollers, and fuser assemblies. These need to be replaced on a periodic basis to ensure the proper function of your printer. Now with inkjet printers, most of them don't come with actual maintenance kits because it's actually more cost effective to replace the printer. Another tool that you can use is the toner vacuum. This is a specialized vacuum for cleaning up toner spill. You can often use a high quality vacuum with a HEPA filter and it will do the job just fine. Compressed air is another tool. You know, next to the maintenance kit, it's a printer's best friend. Accumulated paper dust and debris can cause havoc with print jobs. Periodically blowing out the inside of the printer is a wise thing to do. It'll prevent a lot of problems from occurring. Another tool that you can use is the printer spooler. This is a service that establishes and maintains the print queue. Each PC has its own spooler. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting printers. 
we talked about common symptoms of problems and then some tools that you can use to diagnose and fix your printer. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I look forward to doing some more.